On Sunday morning, a rapidly advancing Taliban took over the key city of Jalalabad, cutting off Afghan capital of Kabul from the east. The takeover also meant that Kabul was the only major city in Afghanistan left under the control of Ashraf Ghani government. The fall of Jalalabad followed just after Taliban captured another key city, Mazar-e-Sharif. As the resurgent Taliban moved towards Kabul, they also captured another provincial capital, Maidan Bardak, which is 90 kilometers from the capital. <laughs> By 2 p.m. on Sunday, reports of Taliban entering outskirts started coming in. Afghan officials were reported as saying that the Taliban were in the districts of Kalakan, Karabagh and Pagman in Kabul. Meanwhile, Taliban spokesperson said that their fighters have been asked not to enter Kabul as the group does not want to take over the capital by force. The group said that talks are underway with the other side to negotiate entering Kabul in a way to prevent harm to the people. Taliban said it is not seeking revenge and that all civilian and military officials will remain safe. Life is normal, but in the future we don't know. Right. Yes, but right, recently life has become difficult for people. People worried about the, how, the, the way Taliban treat us before and now it's a little different. The question is, can you trust them to be nice? Well, we just want peace. I don't care about anyone, not Pakistan, not America, nobody else. I'm here even today. If they kill me, if they identify me, I will not care about them. I will not care about them. What should I be scared of? This is my homeland, my land. Soon after, reports started trickling in that Afghan President Ashraf Ghani was relinquishing power after talks with the Taliban delegation led by Mullah Baradar. It took the Taliban nine days from August 6th when it captured the first provincial capital to walk into the presidential palace in Kabul.